breaking cruise news, the president and CEO of Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings, Frank Del Rio, has announced that he is stepping down. We were contacted as travel partners by email and also we received an unlisted video. This video we're going to share with you now. It includes words from Frank Del Rio about his stepping down as well as words from the person who has been identified as the new CEO of Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. So we're going to show this to you as you're watching. Comment down below on how you think this is going to impact Norwegian Cruise Line and their various brands. Also, stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm going to share some other important announcements. Here's the video. Hello to all our loyal travel partners and thank you for giving me your time for an important announcement that I wanted all of you to hear first and foremost directly from me. In 2015, I was given the opportunity to lead Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings into its next chapter, one where we brought together three of the industry's leading brands. Norwegian Cruise Line, Oceana Cruises, and Region 7 Seas Cruises to form the best cruise operator in the industry. After eight incredible years, it is now time for me to make way for the next generation of leaders who are ready to take this company on to its newest chapter. That is why I have decided to step down as president and CEO as of June 30th. Come July, Harry Summer, who currently leads Norwegian Cruise Line, will be the next president and CEO of this renowned company. The decision to step down was a personal one, made with the love and support of my family, particularly my incredible wife, Marsha, who has been with me throughout this amazing journey. This decision is never an easy one, but I believe the time is right, having steered the company through the pandemic, readied it for the delivery of the new ships across our three brands, and most important, set up the company for future successes. It's difficult to put into words what it has meant to me to be able to be at the helm of this iconic company. All I can say is that I feel honored and blessed to have had the privilege of leading and working alongside what is without a doubt the best team in the industry, and that team extends to you, our valued travel partners. I know all of you, like me, love cruising and love the cruise industry. Together we have experienced many ups and downs. But through it all, we've always come back stronger, united in our efforts to bring the joy of cruising to more and more people each year. Knowing that we have played a role in creating some of our guests' most treasured vacation memories is incredibly rewarding. It is what has kept me so inspired and motivated over the past 30 years in this industry. While I will be stepping down from my day-to-day -day responsibilities this summer, this isn't goodbye. I will never stop being a champion and an advocate of this company and of this industry. I've known many of you since the early startup days of Oceana Cruises, when our younger selves could not even begin to conceive that this is where we would end up today. I cherish the personal and professional relationships that have been cultivated over the years, and I know that they will last a lifetime. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for all your support partnership, and friendship. Now, I want to reassure you that Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings will not miss a beat. Our management team has been working for months to ensure a seamless transition. There is not a shadow of doubt that this man beside me is the right person to lead this company as it embarks on its newest chapter. I have worked with Harry's in various capacities over the course of three decades, and he is one of the smartest and hardest working leaders I have ever known. In addition to his unmatched work ethic, Harry is a strategic and innovative leader who has just the right talent and skill set for the company at this critical time in our history. I am confident that he will make this an even stronger organization for years to come. Thank you, Frank, for those kind words. It's truly humbling to take the reins of this company with such a rich and celebrated history of innovation and excellence, and even more so from someone who can only be described as a titan of the industry. I have to thank Frank first and foremost for his mentorship, guidance, and friendship since our first encounter back in 1993 and continuing through the past 15 years in the company. Frank has been a constant source of inspiration, innovation, and ingenuity throughout my entire career. Needless to say, I have big shoes to fill, but as many of you know, I never say no to a challenge and I'm committed to doing everything I can to build on this incredible legacy and position Norwegian for continued success. In order to achieve that success, I need your partnership now more than ever. The trade community is invaluable for our business, 
and even more so now as we gear up to deliver on our industry-leading growth profile, representing over 50% growth over 2019 levels. As many of you know, I founded and ran a successful cruise-focused travel agency myself once upon a time, and I know firsthand what you bring to the table. The opportunities are endless, and we are committed to investing in you and making sure you have the tools and resources needed to best serve your clients and drive demand to continue to grow your business. No one knows your clients better than you do, so I encourage and value your candid and honest feedback that can help us reach our shared goals. I'm all ears. And the same can be said for the rest of the management team across the Norwegian, Oceana, and region brands, along with their trade sales teams. We're all here and ready to listen and excited to find new and innovative ways to continue to strengthen and expand our partnership. Once again, thank you for choosing Norwegian Cruise Line, Oceana Cruises, and Region Seven Seas Cruises as the trusted brands to deliver world classifications to our guests. Now let's focus together on doing what we do best, making people's vacation dreams come true. Thank you. Okay, do you think this is going to be good or bad for Norwegian Cruise Line and their various brands? Comment below. Also, I want to let you know that later today, I'm going to be releasing a cruise news segment that has 15 rapid-fire cruise news pieces. Some of these you may be aware of, but there's others I have not heard shared by anybody else out there. So make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss that, and we'll catch you in that video.